So I have one hour tonight to get something done before it's time to go in and clean up for another work day of work tomorrow. I'm supposed to get some storms, quite a bit of rain, so I wanted to mulch the raspberry canes that we planted just a few days ago to give them some protection, help them uh, retain the moisture that they so sorely needed. Um, so let's check that out. It's not crazy exciting, but it's just one of those things that this is the start of a bigger project and um, there's, you have to take baby steps. So that's what I encourage you all um, to do. If you don't feel like you can homestead, we're not full out homesteaders either, but we are trying and just making small steps to a more sustainable life is the start of something amazing. Trust me. I don't know what's going on. Hey, Si. Hi. Here's the mulch pile that we have. Um, it's fairly close to the driveway. There's a sign right out here that says chips. So we just have them uh, pull over here and dump the wood chips for us and we just try to keep one two three piles on hand at all times so we can use them for projects like this so I piled those wood chips in what we did was turn over the side here worked in some of our gorgeous absolutely gorgeous chicken compost which we get out of that bin right there plan on doing a future video on how simple and easy this is. It's almost too ridiculous to even do a video on it. It's so easy. We've got some gorgeous compost out of there, amended the soil, flipped over the side, and so now I'm going to mulch it. And um, we'll see how these do. We have to move two raspberry plants too. So this row is going to keep going. I'm going to put one here, and then we're going to put another transplant here. Um, they didn't do well last year, so hopefully moving them will be okay. And this is the start of a future project of our, hopefully, it's probably take a couple years to get this how I envision it, the future project of making a grand entrance into the orchard garden area. So I plan on putting a trellis right here that matches that trellis have raspberry bushes on both sides so walk under the trellis pick raspberries as you go and then enter into the berry patch right beyond the wheelbarrow so I'm doing a little bit of it tonight and it may take two three years to get it done but we're working towards it and that's that's the joy that's the joy of the journey that you have when you are when you're out here so why wood chips a lot of people when I tell them that we are asking for wood chips to use it for gardening don't quite understand that we use it as a medium to grow food and the reason why we chose wood chips is we were inspired by um, Back to Eden the film Back to Eden it's a free film you can watch and so I will link to that um, down below but if you have never watched the Back to Eden film I highly encourage you to do so it is eye-opening but what led me to Back to Eden um, was actually researching Ruth Stout. And if you've ever um, been able to read her books or watch her, an interview with her, it's an old YouTube video, I highly recommend it. Um, she's my kind of lady and um, she had a, a lazy way of gardening, but it worked. And then when you watch the Back to Eden film and you see how God designed nature to work and how we work so much harder than we have to. Um, but then when you realize that, look out in nature and see what God does. It's an amazing thing. So that's why we use wood chips in the orchard and especially with our fruit trees. We only have a small section of it in the garden for the vegetables and that's mainly because it's hard for us to get it. It's a lot easier for us to get hay, which is what um, rotted hay, which is what Ruth Stout used. So this all started when um, my husband was working all summer and I wanted a garden really bad and I don't have much muscle. So it was really hard for me to till and I was wanted something different. I was looking into raised beds and then came across this no-till gardening. So this is why we use wood chips. Um, there's a lot of research behind it and I'm showing you in a lot of the videos how good it looks underneath there and how it's taking our heavy clay soil and making it something more workable. We're not there yet, we haven't arrived at all. But as you keep watching the channel, I'm gonna show you the different ways that we use the wood chips. Behind me right now, the girls are working on a whole bunch and that is gonna turn into some nice stuff here in a, in a few months. So stay tuned and learn all about no-till gardening and using wood chips 
and hay, and it will make your life so much easier. So here's the finished project. Again, we will extend it on out. Do you see that stick right there and this one right there? And make this a nice long row of raspberries parallel to the grapevines. So it looks really good. These wood chips are breaking down nicely. If you guys are interested, um, when we get our other raspberry canes, uh, we'll do a video on how exactly we planted these guys. So look forward to seeing you all again, and I hope you all come back.